What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a blog website from start to finish on WordPress. Now the website that we're going to be creating is this one right here. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to list each category on your home page just like so. Just like how we have our recipes and we have all those articles in here and then we have our self care and we have those articles and our skincare articles in here. I'm going to be showing you how to list those on the home page. I know that a lot of you guys have been requesting that and I just thought I should make this video. And then I'm also going to be showing you how to set up your blogs and your blog articles. So if you were to click here, we're going to be creating this nice looking blog page here as well. And then I'm going to be showing you guys as a bonus how to how to set up your about about page and also how to set up your contact us page. And I'm even going to show you, be showing you guys how to set up your, your header and how to set up your footer. So if you guys want to learn how to create this nice looking website, go ahead and stick around. So the first thing that we need to do is set up our hosting account with our hosting provider. Now, if you don't know what a hosting account is, it's basically going to allow us to have our website on the internet. Now with a hosting account, you also have to set up your domain. Now a domain, is basically your website name. It's gonna allow people to go to your website. For example, it would be facebook.com, google.com, um, but of course those are taken. So the hosting provider that I really recommend is SiteGround. I've been using them for years. They have really good support and their websites are also really fast. Now I'm gonna have links to that down in the description so you guys can go ahead and click on those and go ahead and check out SiteGround. Now we are going to be using WordPress, so we're going to be using their WordPress hosting package. So go ahead and click on get started. And then we're going to have three options here. Now the first one is our startup. Now our startup is for those that are just starting their website and they're only going to be creating one website. It doesn't have that much space. Um, and there's only a few visitors per month that you can have on your website. Now the next one is going to be grow big. Now this one is going to allow you to have unlimited websites. It's going to give you a lot more web space and it's going to allow you to have more visitors on your website, which is about 25,000 more visitors. And the next one is going to be go geek. This one also allows you to have um, unlimited websites, 40 gigabytes of web space and allows you to have about 100,000 visitors per month. Now this one is more if you have your own agency and you plan to create a lot of websites for clients, I highly suggest you get GoGeek. But if you're just starting out, you guys can go ahead and click on startup. And that's the one that we're gonna be choosing for this video. So go ahead and click on get plan on startup. And then we need to choose our domain. Now our domain, like I mentioned, is just the name of your website and it's gonna allow people to find your website similar to facebook.com or google.com. Now I'm going to go ahead and just type in a name here. So I'm going to put Jasmine's blog and let's go ahead and try that out. Now this is most likely going to be taken. Now that's fine. That's taken. Let's go ahead and choose a different name. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Jasmine's blog page and then I'm going to click on proceed. And as you can tell that hasn't been taken yet. So the next step is to set up your billing information. So Go ahead and fill this billing information out and then go ahead and just scroll down here and then we're going to have our um, our period package here. So you can go ahead and choose 12 month, which is the best deal. To be honest, you're going to save a lot more, um, but you can also choose one month in case you're on a budget and you just want to pay for the month. You can go ahead and choose that. So you're going to be paying for your hosting, which is about $20 a month. And then you're going to be paying for your domain um, registration, which is just going to register your domain, which is your website name. And then we have domain privacy, which is something that I highly recommend. It's basically going to hide your your um, your name, your actual your real name um, and your emails. And it's going to it's going to it's going to hide it. So then people can't go and try to email you spam and try to maybe hack um, your website. So it's something that I really recommend. So I definitely recommend you get domain privacy. Um, so that's pretty much it. Once you're done filling out all the information there, go ahead and click on pay now. And in the next part, I'll be showing you how to install WordPress on your website. So now I'm inside SiteGround. Now we just need to go ahead and set up our WordPress website. So what we need to do is on your homepage, go ahead and click on set up site. 
And then from here, we're going to want to click on start new site. And we're going to want to choose WordPress. And then we're just going to want to add some our login information for WordPress. So just go ahead and add your login information. Now go ahead and click on continue once you've added your email and your password for WordPress. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. Now it's just creating our website. Now our website is all set up. Now let's go ahead and click on manage site. Now this will just take us to our site tools and then we can go ahead and view our website. So from here, we can go ahead and click on, you can go ahead and grab this link here. Just go ahead and copy your website and then paste it right in here. And then now you can go ahead and see your website here and you can go ahead and log in. I'll be showing you guys how to log in in the next video. Um, but if you guys are wondering these other settings here, they're not really that important. The only one that is important is your security here and your SSL. Now this is just going to make your website encrypted here. Now I would go ahead and go into your SSL and go ahead and click on let's encrypt and then click on get and that's just going to make your website encrypted and we can go ahead and just let that load here. I did want to go through that before I even go on the website and start showing you how to add your website content. Because I feel like this part is very important and maybe not too many people will go over it. So now your website has been encrypted. Um, so now we just need to go ahead and configure it. So go ahead and click on configure HTTPS. And now it is going to take you to how to do that. I will actually show you how to do that. Just go into your HTTPS enforce and make sure you click, make sure you check on HTTPS enforce. There you go. Now, if you were to refresh your website, you'd probably still notice that it's not, it's not secure. Now, let me just show you how to go ahead and make that secure here. All you need to do is log in really quick. So at the end of your URL here, type in slash WP dash login dot PHP, and then go ahead and click on enter and then just add your login information. So just go ahead and log in there. So once you have logged in, just go ahead and click on exit. We don't need this starter area. And then just go into your settings here and then go into general. And then right here, you'll notice that we have our WordPress web address. So right after HTTP, go ahead and type in an S and then, and then right after site address URL, type in an S as well. So it should be HTTPS and HTTPS. Now, Go ahead and click on save changes. Now, if we were to go to back to our website, you'd notice that it's now secure. And that's how you would go ahead and set up your SSL. So once you've set up your hosting account and installed WordPress, you need to head over to your website. Now, once you land on your website, you're going to see this plain looking website here. I know it looks kind of ugly and don't worry about it. We're going to be changing it up. So the first thing that we need to do is log in. So at the end of your URL, type in slash if you don't have that already, and then type in WP dash login dot PHP, and then go ahead and click enter. And then you're going to be brought up to the login panel. So over here, just go ahead and type in your login credentials that you created when you were setting up WordPress. And then go ahead and click login. So once you've made it to your dashboard, we're going to want to head over to plugins. The reason being is that you might have some stuff pre-installed that we need to deactivate. Maybe when you logged in, your panel here looks a little bit different. And that's probably because you have maybe a pre-installed plugin activated. So head over to your plugins and then make sure that you have zero plugins activated. And if you do, just go ahead and select it and then deactivate it. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is head over to your settings. And then we're just going to take a look add our site title and make sure that it's correct. So this is just the name of your website. And then we're going to have a tagline. And this is just a title of my website. And then everything else is fine. And then we're going to go into um, reading. 
and we're gonna we're gonna actually set this up a little later and this is when we create our pages but the main one that we need to worry about is permalinks now over here we need to make sure that it's set up to post name just because we want our article title to be at the end here now if you did want something like your date and then the title of your post you can have that as well but i kind of prefer having my website name and then the title of my article or my post and then once that's selected here go ahead and click on save changes and we're all set there now the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and install our theme now our theme if we if we go to our theme right now go ahead and go to appearance and then go to themes you're going to see a pre-installed theme called 2020. Now this is the current theme that we have on our website. As you can tell, it doesn't really look the best. And we want to go ahead and use a far more customizable theme. Now the theme that I want you guys to download is a Cadence theme. This theme right here, I'll have a link to this in the description. So you guys can go ahead and click on this link. And then from there, go ahead and click on free download here. And then once you've downloaded that, head over to your website and then make sure you go back to the dashboard here and then go to your themes, make sure you're on appearance themes and then we just wanna add our theme. So go ahead and click on add new and then click upload and then go ahead and choose your file. And then we just wanna look for our theme that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to downloads here and I'm gonna select my Kaden theme and then I'm gonna click open then I'm gonna install this. And then I'm gonna activate it. Okay, now if we view our website. Now we just have a plain simple site here, but this is a theme that we wanna be using. Now let's go over to our dashboard and let's go ahead and go ahead and click on posts and let's make sure that we don't have any default posts on here. I wanna go ahead and remove this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on trash and I'm gonna remove that post there. Now we just need to go ahead and install some plugins. Now go ahead and click on plugins. Now, if you guys don't know what plugins are, they're basically extensions to your website. They're add-ons that you can add to your website to make your website look a lot better. Now, go ahead and click on add new. And then the first website that we're gonna, the first plugin that we're gonna be using is called Elementor. Now I have a list of the plugins that we're going to be using here. I also have this list down in the description so you guys can check that out. Now the first one's going to be Elementor. So go ahead and type that in and then click search. And then now go ahead and install this one. Now I'm not going to activate it just yet until I until I download all of my plugins. Now the next one that we're going to go ahead and grab is um, Invato Elements. Now this one, you can just type in Vato and then click enter and then go to install this. And now the next one that we're gonna be using is called um, Essential Add-ons for Elementor. Now I just go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna paste this in here. Then I'm gonna install this. And then I'm just going to activate it. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on add new. And then I'm going to go into, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, download my last plugin here. So this one is just called Elementor header footer templates. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. Now I will have a link to all this down in the description so you guys can check that out. And then this is a plugin that we need here. So go ahead and install that and then activate it. Now we just wanna make sure that all of our plugins are activated. So I'm gonna activate this one, the Envato, and then I'm gonna activate Elementor. Okay, perfect, now everything is activated. Now from here, we just wanna go ahead and, and create our pages. So go ahead and click on Pages, and then go ahead and remove these default pages that we have here, just select them all and then click on Move to Trash and then apply it. Now go ahead and click on add new. Now we just want to add our first page here. Now don't worry about this. Just so then this doesn't pop up again, I'm going to go ahead and 
go through all this and then click on get started and that's fine. Now we're all set. Now we just want to name our website here. We're going to call this home because this is going to be our home page and then click publish. And now go back to the dashboard here, go back to your pages and then add a new page. And then this one is going to be. Let's go ahead and look at our categories. So I'm going to go ahead and set our categories here. Actually, what I'm going to do instead is just type in blog. That will be our next page. Type in blog. And then go back to your home, go to your pages and click on add new. And then type in about. Click on publish. Perfect. Now click on add new. And then go ahead and type in a contact us page. And then click publish. And then go back to your pages here. Now we have our pages set up our home, our blog, our about and our contact us. Now if we were to go to our website here, we could see that our menu isn't looking the best. I mean, we have we have all of our pages, but then we also have an extra home page. So let's go ahead and fix that. So head over to appearance and then go to menus and then go ahead and type in main menu. This is going to be our main menu to our website and then go ahead and click on create menu. Now we just need to add our pages. So go ahead and select all your pages here and then click on add to menu. And then go ahead and just all we need to do is just uh, make sure that we have these in the right order. So bring your home page to the top, bring our blog second, our about will be third and our contact us will be fourth. Now I'm going to make this my primary menu and then I'm going to go ahead and click on save menu. Now, if I go to my website here, you can see that I have my menu all set up and it's looking great. Now we might adjust this menu later on, but for now we're going to go ahead and use that. Now the next thing that we want to do is add our logo. So I'm going to go ahead and create a logo here. I'm going to go to this logo maker and I'll have a link to this in the description if you guys do need to create your logo. So I'm just going to go ahead and create this real quick. So uh, my category is going to be health and beauty. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a more, let's see, maybe a calm type of logo. And then I'm going to call this wellness blog. And let's put that, let's put that all together. Wellness blog. And let's click on next. And this is going to be for our website. And then let's just choose a random one here. I'm thinking this one is actually perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this one here and then I'm going to download this logo. Now you do need to add your add your information here so you guys can go ahead and add your information and log in. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to go ahead and screenshot this logo here. Just so then I don't have to add my email, but that's entirely up to you if that's something that you guys wanted to do. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this because I don't need this anymore. And then I don't need this page anymore because I already have my logo. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my logo. So let's, let's do this from the dashboard. You can also do this from the front end as well. But in order, in order to add your logo, go to appearance and go to customize. And then we're going to go into site identity. And then we're going to go into site title and logo control. And now we're going to want to set our logo. So go ahead and click on select logo. And then I'm going to upload my logo. And this is my logo that I should have somewhere in the description here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this logo here. And I'm going to click on select. And I'm going to skip the crappie just so then it all fits perfectly. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove this title here that I have here. I only want the logo and I don't want this title because that looks kind of redundant. So I'm just going to choose logo. Now we're only going to have our logo. So that's perfect. And then I'm going to click on publish. And then I'm going to exit out of here. 
And that's going to take us back to our dashboard here. And now we can view our menu and we have our logo set up and all of our um, links are looking good as well. Now we just need to go ahead and add our design. So from here, go to your dashboard, go to pages. Actually, before I go into pages, make sure you click on elements here. Go ahead and click on free template kits. Okay. And you just want to make sure that this is set up and you have this option here. Some back then you did have to add your email, but not, not no more. So head over to your pages and then go to home, go ahead and edit that. And then go at the top here. Very important. Click on edit with Elementor. So now we're going to go ahead and click on this leaf here, this green leaf icon. So go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on free kits. Now we just want to go ahead and find our, um, our uh, design here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hover over categories. And I'm going to go into, let's go ahead and check out food and drink. And let's go ahead and choose this one here. So go ahead and install this one. And then view the kit. Now, some of them are for the pro version because they do have some pro version um, options, but not to worry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give you guys a work around that. So some pages will still end up using them, but we won't use some of the pro features that they have for Elementor. Now, I do highly suggest getting Elementor Pro. It does give you a lot more options when it comes to building your website. Um, and I'll have a link to that down in the description. So if you guys do want to get Elementor Pro, you guys can go ahead and uh, check that out. So the first thing that we're going to do here is um, insert our home page. So we do have a selection of, I think, um, five home pages, but I'm going to go ahead and choose the first one here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. And then now we're just importing this. Okay, so now we have our website imported. Perfect. And that's looking great. So let's go ahead and save this for now. Okay, perfect. That looks great. Now these aren't really our blogs. These are just kind of um, links to other pages. We need to go ahead and set up our blog so then every time we post on a specific category, our blog articles get posted here. So the next thing that we need to do is make sure that our home page is our default page when people visit our website. So if I were to click on my logo here, which takes me to my to my um, website, as you can tell, my home page isn't populating here. So what we need to do is head over to your dashboard, go to settings, and then go into um, reading, and then make sure that your website is set to a static page. Now go ahead and select your home page and then go ahead and select your blog page for the post. So type in, so select blog and then go ahead and click on save changes. Now if we were to view our website here, you would notice that our home page is set up um, by default now and that's looking perfect. So the next thing that I want to do is add some categories to this. So Go back to your um, go back to your dashboard, go to pages, and then go ahead and hover over your home page and then click on edit with Elementor. And this will allow us to edit our page again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just change this title here. So I'm just gonna type in my wellness blog and we can go ahead and maybe add some other title here um, I'm just gonna type in blog again that's fine just because I think that still looks good regardless and then we have some norm Ipsum text now of course you can change this to whatever you'd like um, I'm just adding this as um, placeholder text for now 
And I'm going to go ahead and remove this button. I don't think I need this button here, but if you did want to have a button, you can as well. Um, you know what? Actually, let's leave this here and let's just change the title to this. Uh, let's call this um, view. View all logs. Or we can just call this view blogs. How about that? There we go. And then this will link this to our blog page. So I'm just going to go ahead on our link, type in blog. And then our blog page will come up and we can just click that. Perfect. Okay, and then right here, you would basically just have an about um, area, I'm going to put I'm going to add a title and call this about us or about me actually about me. How about that instead? And then I'm going to leave this lower maps from tax. I think that's perfect. And then right here, I want to have about four sections of our um, of our articles that we're going to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add some titles here. So I'm going to go at I'm going to scroll down here. And then I'm going to drag this over right at the top here. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this Let me go ahead and find my categories here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my notes and then my blog categories. I'm going to have recipes for my first one. Okay. Now we just need to go ahead and stylize this. So make sure that your um, text is selected here and then go to style and then our text color. I'm going to go ahead and set this to black. Let's see if we have a, um, Okay, we don't have a uh, global color set up yet. So go ahead and just click on your color here and then go ahead and set this to black. And then we're going to be using this font and this font is fine. Let, let me make sure that we are using the right font here. So go to style. I want to make see what font this one is using and I'm going to go ahead and just use the same one. Okay, so it's called ASAP. So I'm going to go ahead and go to style and I'm going to choose ASAP because I want to be using the same font all around. And what I'm actually going to do to make things easier, just to make sure that everything is set up by default, I'm going to go into my, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little box here. Or actually, you know what? Click on your settings here. Sorry about that. Click on your settings. Or anyway, actually, you know what? I think it's in site settings now. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Okay, so in order to set up your default fonts, head over to um, click on this box here and then go into site settings. And then we're going to want to click on global fonts. And then your primary. Because we do want it to be the same font all around the website, I'm going to use ASAP again. And then my secondary is going to be ASAP as well. And for my text, let's see what they're using here. We'll also use ASAP as well. We might change this later on, but it's going to be ASAP for now. And our accent will also be ASAP as well. Okay, that's perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and click on update. And we're going to go back to our website. And we're going to go ahead and click on Go back, let's exit out of this here, and then this will take us back to our editing. Okay, now let's scroll down here. Let's click on this. And let's make sure that we have this to default. There we go. And then from the looks of it, let's see which height, which weight they're using. They're using 600, and it's the same one that I have selected. Okay, perfect. All right. So that's our first category there. Now we might want to make our um, our recipe title a lot more bigger just so that people can see that better. So go ahead and just adjust the sizing here. Maybe we'll make that about 
about 35 should be perfect. So let's make this 35. Oops, 35. And then let's go ahead and add a line under it. As you can tell, they're using this little line here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to bring this right above. And they actually have it at the center. So let's go ahead and center this text here. So go ahead and click on your text, go to content, and on the alignment, have this in the center there. So that's perfect. Now that, that says recipes. Awesome. Now you're able to change this background image. If that was something that you wanted to do, you can go ahead and click on this section here. And then go into style. And then you, as you can tell, now we have our image. So we can go ahead and click on that. And we can pretty much change this to anything that we would like. Maybe we want to change this to this picture instead. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it to where it was at. Because I kind of like this picture that we had already on there. I think that's perfect. And you can go ahead and just remove this. Maybe you want to add a picture of yourself or something else. You can also do that as well. Just by clicking on this and then clicking this image box and selecting your image. Or you can upload your image here. And just click on select file and upload your image. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it to the image that we had there. I think that's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just copy this area here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And that's going to duplicate this other area so then we can add our next category. Now our next category is going to be self care. So make sure you click on this title here and then go ahead and paste self care. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And then I'm going to go ahead and add our next category, which is going to be skincare. I'm going to add that in there. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, this section here as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and add our next one here. Now, don't worry, we're going to change out the blogs here that are in each section. And we're going to do smoothies. Okay, now that's perfect. Now what I do want to do. Now this is just optional. It's clearly um, up to you. Now if you want to have the categories, you see how we have the list of these categories here, right at the bottom, you can have them at the top right under the about if that was something that you wanted to do. So you can just drag it. And then scroll all the way up and then right under the about go ahead and paste that in there or go ahead and just drop it in there. And then now go back down and then grab this area here again. So just grab this blue section here. Just by clicking and holding it and then just scroll all the way up. And then we can go ahead and add it right down here. There we go. I think that's much better instead of people having to scroll all the way down and view that. Now we just need to go ahead and change um, these pictures and this text to our to, uh, you know, our categories. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just grab our categories here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab recipes and I'm going to paste this in here. And there's recipes. Back to my notes. And I'm going to type in self care. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of them. Oops. Let's go ahead and do this from there, from the panel here. And then let's go ahead and do smoothies. And let's go ahead and just um, remove this, these images here, or at least add images that go with our categories. So click on this image. And then now click on this image box here. And now we're going to go ahead and choose our images here. Now I am going to choose some of the blog images that we already have. So this one is if I'm correct, this one is for recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. Okay. And then self care. Then I want to make sure that I have the one set up for self care. Okay, so let's click on this image, go to our image here. And for self care, we're going to go ahead and use yoga. 
And then now we're going to go ahead and grab an image for skincare. And we're going to use this image here. Now, as you can tell, each image is the same size, and that's because we have our sizing already set up here. Now we just need to put in our smoothies image. And you should always want to add the same size images to your website. That's always ideal. Let's go ahead and choose this image here for our smoothies. And that's perfect. Okay. All right, now we have that all set up here. And this spot is also looking good as well. We might adjust this later on. Now let's go ahead and click on update. And let's view our website here. Okay, perfect. Now if we were to click on these, it doesn't really go anywhere, it just goes back up. And our recipes, and our self-care, they're all the same um, blog posts. So we just need to go ahead and add different blog posts to each one. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up our category page and we're gonna add our blogs. So head over to your dashboard and then go into posts and categories. Now we just need to go ahead and set up our categories. Are uncategorized. This one is just set up by default. I'm going to actually edit this and name this blog post instead. Just so then by default, it's set up to blog post. I don't really like having that uncategorized. All right, now let's go back and go into our categories and let's add our categories in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add my blog categories in here. Now, like I said, I'll have a, I'll have this down in the description so you guys can go ahead and grab this information in case you're following along. But if you're creating your own website, well, you can just create your uh, categories that you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this category here. And the next one is gonna be self-care. Oops. And then I'm gonna click add category. And then I'm gonna do skincare. And then my next one is gonna be smoothies. Perfect. Okay. Now before I add my blog posts, I'm gonna go ahead and add these categories to my menu. But I'm gonna add them as a drop down. So head over to appearance and then go to menus. And then over here, you're gonna see a section called categories. Go ahead and click that. And then click on view all. And then go ahead and click on select all and then unselect blog post because we don't want that one and then click on add to menu. Now we just want these as a drop down and we want these as a drop down right under our blog. So go ahead and grab this, go ahead and grab your recipes or any of your um, categories and then go ahead and drag it in here. Now don't just grab, drag it under it. If you have it right under it, all you need to do is just move it here to the side and it will let you add it as a sub menu. So now we just need to do this to the rest of them. And there you have it. Now we're going to go ahead and click on save menu and go back to our website here. Now, if we were to hover over blog, now you'll see that we have our sub menu here and we can just click on these. And as you can tell, we don't have any blog set up yet. So go back to your home page. And then head over to your dashboard and then go into your posts. Now we just want to add our posts here. I'm going to go to remove this information and just put no thanks. And I'm going to exit out of this um, announcement there. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on add new. And then we're going to go ahead and add our blogs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my notes here and then I'm going to scroll down. I have all my articles already set up, at least the names of them. So the first one we're going to do is recipes. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one, my Italian pasta. So I'm going to grab this title and I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to grab some lorem ipsum, ipsum text here that I already have saved. And this is just an extension that allows me to have a bunch of lorem ipsum text. And you guys can go ahead and paste this in here. Um, if you guys are following along, just grab any lorem ipsum text. You can look it up anywhere and find it. 
Now, if you are making your own blog here and um, you want to learn how to how to customize this a bit, um, let's say you have titles for each for each um, blog post here. So let's say I want to add a title in here. So go into any of this. Um, what I would do is click on this little plus sign here, add a block, and then go ahead and add a heading. Just click on that. And then now we can add another heading here. This can be heading heading one. Uh, we can also make this a little smaller so we can do H3 to make it a little smaller there. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this one as well. And then just drag it over over as well. So go ahead and click on this little arrow here and then drag it to the bottom. There we go. Now if we did want to add bullet points, you can do that as well. So go ahead and click on this plus sign. And then go ahead and click on list. Now you can add your own list on here as well. That was something that you wanted to do. Now that's just showing you guys how to do that. You can also do numbers if you wanted to. So bullet points are numbers. But I'm going to remove that. Now let's say you want to add an image in between this area here. Sometimes we want to add multiple images between between our um, our paragraphs. So I'm going to go ahead and add an image right under this uh, post here or this sorry, this paragraph, I mean. So head over to um, go ahead and click on this plus sign. And then go to your image and click on image. And now we just want to use an image from our media library. That's fine. I'm just going to use any random image. I'm going to use this one here. Okay. Now we can also make this a little smaller if we wanted to adjust this. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to leave it as is. I think that's fine. Okay. So now we need to make sure that we add this to our category. So go ahead and click on category. And this one is going to be under recipes. And then we're going to want to add our featured image. That's always very important because that's the main image that we're going to be seeing in the thumbnail. So just go ahead and select an image here. I'm going to choose. I believe it's uh, let's see here. It's this one here. Yep, it's this one here. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And then we can go ahead and view this if we wanted to as well. Now, not to worry, we will customize this a bit here if you guys did want to change this up. But honestly, I think I think this article already looks really good. It's laid out. Um, it's laid out actually really nicely. So you probably won't want to change that much. I think it looks super clean. That's why we chose this um, theme because it automatically sets up your um, your uh, posts and in a really nice way, as you can tell, in a really nice format. Um, but I'll show you guys how to adjust this as well later on. OK, so now we're going to just add the rest of the blogs here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add one more. The rest, I will probably end up speeding it up or I'll probably cut the video um, just so then you don't really watch me go through all of it or you can just skip this area skip this part as well um but that's entirely up to you so i'm just going to go ahead and add all of my blog posts that i need to add So now that we've added all of our blogs, we need to make sure that they show up on our home page. So head over to your website here. And what we can do to edit this page is we can just click on edit with Elementor. That's kind of a shortcut to just going to our pages and then going your home, going to your home and then click on editing with Elementor. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on edit with Elementor here. Okay. 
So now we're going to go ahead and link our categories here. So go ahead and click on this image. And then where it says none, click on custom URL. And then we're going to go ahead and type in just recipes here. Let's see if that comes up here. No, that doesn't come up. So what we need to do instead is open up another page here. And then let's go ahead and hover, click on recipes here. And let's copy this link above. As you can tell, our um, articles are showing up already, which is perfect. And I'll show you guys how to customize this a bit as well. So go ahead and type that in here. And then on your recipes as well, click on your text and then go to link and then also paste that link under there. Now we're going to go to the next one here, which is self care. Go ahead and click on go ahead and grab that link. Paste it in here. Make sure that we have it also on our image as well. Let's go to skincare. Custom link, add our link in there. Let's do the same thing to the, to the text here as well. Add our link, perfect. Now just need to click on smoothies. Grab that link, go to smoothies, go to link in here, paste it in here, go to your text, and then paste it right under there as well. Now that's perfect. Now we can go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and view this now. So now if we were to click on any of these images here, it would take us right to our categories. Okay. So now that is set up perfectly. Now we just want our blogs to show up here for each category. Now I'm going to go down to the home page and I'm going to make sure I remove this how to at the bottom. I don't want this how to part in case you guys have that on there. I didn't notice that just because they all look very similar. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and work on our first category here. So what we want to do is just remove this section here or this, this inner section actually. So go ahead and click on this X here. And then where you just have the title and this line here. Now head over to your elements by clicking this box here and then just type in posts. And if you did install the, all the plugins, you're going to have this, um, this element that's called post grid. So go ahead and grab that and then drag it right under the line. There we go. So now that's perfect. Now, as you can tell, it's showing all of our blogs, all of our, or at least four of our blogs, but we only want two blogs specific to this category. So make sure that you have this selected and you'll be able to know because at the top here, it's going to say post grid. So we have, we'll be able to choose our category. Our category will be recipes. Now it's only going to show our recipes. Okay. And post per page. We only want to show four. Uh, sorry, not four. I mean, we only want to show two of them. But you can also show a little more if you want. But since I only, since I only created two of them, um, that's just how we're going to go ahead and do it. And then columns, we're going to do two. Now, as you can tell, it does glitch out a little bit. Don't worry about that. Um, if you do have the pro version, honestly, you are, you're not really going to need um, the Elementor extension plugin that I'm using, which is called, let me see what it's called here. In case you are using Elementor Pro, I do want to mention that. Uh, you're not going to need the essential add-ons. You're not really going to need that plugin if you have the pro version, because you can just um, use their, their um, their element, which is actually called if I type in post, it's this one right here, it's called post. So you can just drag that that one in and use that one instead. But um, this one does glitch out a little bit. But all we got to do is just you can we can view the website and it'll come out perfectly. You see, so it came out perfectly just how we want it. Um, but it's a little glitched out here. So all we got to do is just refresh it. 
and it's not overlapping anymore. You see, it's perfect now. Okay, guys, so the next thing that we need to do here is um, just start adjusting these. So go ahead and click on this um, element here. Go into layout. Now we have some options that we can do here. We can do grid. That was something that we want to do. Um, but you know what? I'm going to leave it on grid. I think that's fine. And then uh, you can also have load more. In case you did want to load a little more, let's say over here in quarry, you wanted to have maybe uh, 20 instead and people just can just click on load more and they can load more but um, in my opinion what you guys should do instead is just have either four or two and then let's go ahead and click on layout and remove uh, load more and just have a bun right under that I'm gonna grab this bun here this is bun I'm gonna copy this bun actually you know what I'm gonna show you how to add a bun from scratch I think that's better so go over to your elements and then go into buns here. Now we'll have a bun. And go ahead and click on center. And then type in view more. Now th this bun will link to our categories. So let's go ahead and add click on recipes and grab this link here. And let's paste it in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just stylize this bun here so go into style and the color that we want to choose is the same color that we've been choosing here so i'm going to go into style and i'm going to grab this color that we have here and i'm going to see some of the settings right the padding is 20 and they probably have a border radius it looks like okay so and let's see what the sizing for the text is here it looks like it's about 18 okay all right so our text is going to be 18. Our our um our sizing is going to be 18 there, and we're going to do about 600. And we're going to do I think it was called Carla. There we go. We're going to do Carla as a font. That's fine. And then we're going to go ahead and change this color here, and the padding will be 2020. There we go. And then maybe we can add a little icon here. So go to content, and then go to icon, and maybe we can do a little arrow arrow that heads to the right there we go and we can do this right after perfect all right there we have it now we can also add a hover to this if we want to have a hover maybe you want to do um yellow instead or maybe an orange color i'm gonna i'm honestly not gonna add a hover i'm just showing you guys um but that is entirely up to you actually that hover isn't bad i'm gonna leave that hover i think that hover is fine okay so we'll we'll leave that hover all right, so now that we have that set up, go ahead and click on your blog again, uh, your little blog element here, your post grid. Now go to um, layout settings. Now here, uh, just make sure that your image size is set to 300 by 300. We wanna make sure that our, um, our images are all the same size or else it's gonna look not that great. Um, and if you want to, we have some options here to show title, but of course you want to show the title here. Um, uh, sorry, I, I accidentally unselected a uh, show image and we want to show our title. I don't know about the read more. I don't really like that. Um, I think people can just click on the blog itself. So I'm going to go ahead and remove, remove um, the read more here. There we go. And then I'm going to remove that. Um, the avatar here i'm going to remove that and then i'm going to remove the author name as well and i just want to have the date here i think that's perfect um so we just want to show the date and i think that's looking good okay and then we just want to go to our styling and we can stylize this a bit um, let's say we wanted to go ahead and go into our um, colors and typography for our title color. We can go ahead and change that maybe to a uh, pinkish color if that's something that we wanted. But, uh, but I honestly think that um, black is perfect and we just want to change. We maybe want to change the font. Oh, okay. The font is already set to ASAP, which is perfect. All right. And we can also align this as well. 
Um, but I think this is already looking good. Okay. So what I would do instead, instead of having entry footer, I would have this in the entry header, just so then it's more aligned. Because as you can tell, it wasn't really that aligned and it kind of did bother me a little bit. Um, but I think having it like this is honestly a lot better. Because it does show that dot there, which is great. And we actually might want to make that a little bit smaller. So if you go to your style and then go to media, I think it's over here in media style, we can make this a little bit smaller. I just don't really want it that big. There we go. Maybe a little bit bigger there. We can do about 15. I think that's fine. Okay. Now we do have the thumbnail hover effect. I think it's actually right here, the hover card style. So this is our hover effect that we have. Let's say we wanted to maybe change that to red instead. We can do that. But I think it would be cool to have maybe this color here. So I'm going to grab this color that I have here. I'm going to actually save this as my um, universal color here or my global colors. So what you would actually do is click on this color and then click on this plus sign to create a global color and then just click on create and now we have it saved. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on this section here, go to hover card and then click on this one here. So now it's going to be purple, but we kind of wanted a little bit transparent. So we're going to bring this down to about this color here. I think that's fine. Okay. So now let's go ahead and update this and let's view our website. All right, now that's set up perfectly there. Now, if we were to click on this, we would we would go right to our blog. And honestly, this is already looking fantastic to me. So from here, I'm going to make sure that we have some sort of transition effect whenever uh, the page loads. As you can tell, whenever we load the page, we tend to have this um anim this uh, transition effect. But we don't have it on these because we didn't set it up but we have it on this one so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and click on this section here then i'm gonna go to advance and go into motion effects and then we're gonna add an entrance effect and we're gonna want to do a maybe fade in up i think that's fine and we're gonna do the same thing to the button as well click on the button go to advance motion effects and then fade up perfect okay so now we just need to go ahead and basically copy this exact thing to each category so then we can have the right the right post show up but before i do that i'm going to go ahead and make sure this is mobile optimized because i'm literally just going to copy this and paste it and i don't want to have to do it over and over and over again to each one so i'm going to go ahead and click on um, our uh, responsive mode and I'm going to click on tablet and I'm going to see how this looks like on tablet. So clearly we need some spacing here. As you can tell, this seems to be fine. In my opinion, I think that looks good on tablet, but the spacing here is not the great. So click on this section here and then go over to advance. And then from the top here, make sure you actually unselect this. And then from the top here, just bring it down a bit. Let's see. Bring this maybe down to about 50. I always like to have a spacing of 50. Okay. And then from the bottom as well, do the same thing to this one here. Go to advance, unselect that, do a spacing of 50. And we're just going to do all of these here real quick. Go to advance, do a spacing of 50. And then do a spacing of 50 here. And then I want to do a spacing of 50 here as well. Wait, but this one here, we want to set this to pixels instead. Actually, you know what, this is more inner. So let's actually leave this as it was. Um, yeah, set this to pixels and then maybe just bring this down a bit, actually. 
bring this down to about 70 and then at the bottom we can do about 50 okay and then this one you want to kind of adjust your margin actually so click on this and then set this to 50 okay now that's perfect there okay so now we just need to adjust this spacing here a bit um actually you know what i think this is good enough so this is looking great now let's go ahead and see how this looks like on mobile scroll all the way to the top here okay so that's fine except for this button here uh let's maybe make the text a little bit smaller uh there we go now if you didn't want to adjust any of the text you can just click on this and then go to style and then adjust the height now this will only adjust it for the for the mobile version you guys can adjust this if you guys wanted to uh this is fine all of these temp templates are mobile optimized it's just that we added some things to it so they might not be optimized um, these are optimized as well now we just need to add some spacing here so click on recipes or sorry click on this section here and then go to advanced and then do the same thing that we just did basically 50 we're going to do 50 scroll down here and we're going to do 50 as well scroll the way down and then do 50 and smoothies do 50 unselect that and then do 50 and at the bottom here this is already set up perfectly. I think that's fine. That's good spacing. All right. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and grab this and move it down. So I would copy this and then remove this section here, paste it right under this line here. Okay, now go ahead and make sure that's selected. Post grid is selected. Now we want to make sure that we choose self care instead and we remove recipes. All right, so now that's showing this one here. Now, as you can tell, the sizing of this is a little bit different for this one, the image. Let's go and see if we can adjust this layout here. That's why you always wanna make sure that your images are always the same, because sometimes this doesn't work that well. But that is an is that is honestly I'm just gonna leave it as is because that's an easy fix as long as your image is the same size. And I'm gonna go to remove this one and then I'm gonna paste this, that section here again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose I'm gonna remove this one and choose um, skincare. There we go. Then remove this again and I'm gonna paste. It right under again and then i'm going to choose for the recipe i'm going to remove this one that we have currently and i'm going to do smoothies there we go perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and set up our blog page so let's go ahead and click on our blog here now this is just going to have a list of, of all of our blogs. So in order to adjust this, go ahead and go into customize. Now that's the part that I really like about the Caden theme is that you're really able to customize it. So from here, just going to want to go into um, blog posts and then go into archive layout. Okay, so we could go ahead and remove the part above and just have it just like this instead or we can do the above content. We can even do full width. Um, but that is entirely up to you. I honestly just prefer not having that at all. I think that's fine. I think this will work perfectly just to list out all my blogs. I can have the title here at the center. I think that's good. I can show some breadcrumbs crumbs if I wanted to have that there. But that's entirely up to you. You can do full width, but as this just makes it really huge, you can do it narrow, but I'm just gonna keep it at normal. I think normal is perfect. And then if you have any sidebars, but we don't have any sidebars, um, 
You also have two stylings for this. I honestly like the box better. I think box always looks so much better. Um, and this is if you just wanted to have two instead. Three is a max. I'm going to have three. I think that looks better. Now, we have some options to remove some of the some of the media tags here. So I can go ahead and remove. Um, let's see here. Here we go. So I, I don't want to show my avatar and I don't want to show the I want to show the date. Okay, there we go. I think that's perfect there. Now let's say we wanted to change the colors up. Now, you click on design here. And you can adjust the color of each title. That's something that you wanted to do for that for the title of the blog here you can reset this. Now we have our post title. Now our post title, as you can tell, is set to black. We can set this up to blue or any color that we want. But for the most part, we've been using black, so that's fine. But our category color is something that I do want to change just so then it goes with our website because our website isn't blue. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this color here that we've been using. So I'm going to click on this, go to style, and then I'm just going to copy this color here. And then for our item category color, let's go ahead and set that color up here. Perfect. And our read more as well. We should set it up to a different color as well. Let's see here. Category font. Item media colors. Site background. if we set this color here so I'll set that up to blue but I'm gonna set this up to black instead okay we can just leave that as is for now oops nope I want to stay in this page that's fine we can leave that as is and then click publish Okay, so now our blog is our uh, our uh, blog archive is set up, but I do want to remove this hover effect where it turns to blue. So what we can do is go to customize, and then go into general, go into colors. Now let's go ahead and set our uh, global colors here. We want to go ahead and choose this one here. Okay, now we have that set up perfectly. And we're going to go ahead and click publish. And we're going to exit out of here. Okay, so now that's all set up. There we go. Now, if people did want to view um, these in a specific category, they can. They can just click on recipe and self care. And this basically sets up everything for you here. Now, if for some reason you wanted to have the blogs, let's see. I know that some of them don't have them listed like that. They have them at just one by one. So I did kind of show you guys that earlier, but I know that maybe that's something that you guys wanted to do. That you wanted to go down here and have have maybe one by one. That is something that you're able to do as well. But that's more up to you. I honestly like it. I honestly like having the three of them just listed like this. Okay. The next thing that we want to work on is our um, our actual blog posts. So in here, we can just adjust this as well. So in order to adjust this, we can just start at the beginning here. So go to customize and then go and click on blog posts and then go ahead and click on single post layout. So now we can adjust this so on the post title layout. We can choose a different one as well. We can have something above here. But to be honest, I honestly do not really prefer that. Um, 
But honestly, that's kind of what you kind of want to do if you want to have the title of that. I'm just, I'm looking at that now, actually. So, I want to have the title there. So, actually, I'm going to leave it right there instead. I'm going to just um, remove, I'm going to go to my media, and then I'm going to remove my um, show app, show author. Okay. I think that works perfectly as well. You can do full width for that. I'm actually going to do full width instead of standard. Just so then all fits in there. You can move it to the right or left. I'm going to leave it at the middle. And if you wanted to show some, maybe if you wanted to show some more categories or anything like that, you can do this as well. But the categories already up here. It says smoothie, so we don't need that. And we have different adjustment for this layout. So we can do, we can choose this one. We can do full width. If we wanted to, but as you can tell, it's huge and it does not look great. You can even have a sidebar if you guys did want. To be honest, I don't really like using sidebars. You can just click on any of these to add your sidebars. Um, it does already lay it out in a pretty clean way, but that's entirely up to you I don't like sidebars, but just in case you guys want to do that You guys can just click on any of this and then you can adjust your sidebars here And it would be your sidebar one you can add a, add a widget and then add any of these sidebars I'm not really gonna go through that too much because I honestly do not really like side sidebars So let me go ahead and adjust that as well and bring it back to how it was this is kind of how I like it, so I'm going to leave it like that. And then you can have it either above, below, sorry, below, or behind. Behind, having the image behind is like probably the best spot. You can also stretch the image as well. Um, I know if there is a spacing here above, you can remove that. Let's see here. Um, padding here. So you can disable the padding right there. And let's go ahead and actually go back here and then view that. Now, I personally don't like it like this, so I'm gonna go back to how it was. Um, I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna actually add the spacing that we had there. So I'm gonna enable that, and then I'm gonna have that just that wide. I think that's perfect. And I honestly like having similar uh, posts at the bottom. I think that's great. And this part looks really good to me. Um, but you can honestly remove that as well. You can also remove show related posts. So you can just remove that if that was something that you wanted to do. You can even remove the comment box. If you didn't want to have any comments down below. But for most for most part, most blogs have comments. So I'm going to leave that down. And then I'm going to click on publish. And don't worry, this is all already mobile optimize for you so it's already looking great okay so now we have our, our uh, archive blog set up and we have our individual blog set up as well I think that's perfect there now we're just going to set up our, our about page. So go ahead and go into your dashboard and then go into pages. And then go ahead and click on edit blog or sorry, that's not the one. Edit um, about. And then go ahead and click on edit Ele with Elementor. And then choose um, the Envato icon here. Go to free free kits, and then go into uh, food and drink. Scroll all the way down, and let's go ahead and view our kits. Now we would just want to scroll down to about me. So we can go ahead and choose any of these. We can view them as well. So I'm going to view this one. Okay. Or we can do this one here. I'm going to choose this one because this one doesn't have any of the pro features or even this one. Let me check out this one. I think this one's pretty nice, actually. 
I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. Now they do have other pages as well, recipes, if you guys did want to want to go over that as well. And then right here, you can just replace this with a picture of yourself, or you can even remove this. You can remove this all together and just have this part area here. That's up to you. I'm going to leave that as is. So let me go ahead and go back here. So in order to, let's say you make a mistake on something and you want to revert back, click on this little um, icon here, go to history, and then just go ahead and go back and click on any of these parts here so now you can edit any of this text just by clicking on it um, and you can remove any of any unnecessary um, text that you guys have on there you can click on this and add a different video you just can add a YouTube link or you can even do a self-hosted one and upload one if that's something that you wanted to do um, you can adjust any of this and you can also click on this and you can adjust your uh, icon and your uh, social links and all that stuff. You can have a subscribe here. The subscribe, I know that sus subscribe doesn't really work right now, but um, I do have a video on setting up a subscribe. I should have it somewhere on my channel. Um, if I don't, just let me know and I'll probably create that. But for now, I'm just going to remove this altogether. And then you guys can adjust this. You guys can you guys can actually instead of instead of clicking on this and then having a pop up, um, you can just right click it and click on Edit Basic Gallery, and then go ahead and click on this box, and you can basically add all of your images. Just click on Add Gallery, and then um, click on any of these images to add it in there, and then click Add to Gallery, and you can add them right in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove these because I don't want them in there. And you can also have some, maybe some reviews that you want to show up. You can also um, click on this and adjust these as well. You can remove the person's picture or add a new picture. Um, you can adjust the content, adjust their uh, their name, their title. Um, and this is all already mobile optimized, so it's all already looking great for you. So I'm gonna leave that as is. I think that's perfect. And then I'm going to go into my contact us page. Now let's go into the dashboard, go to our pages, click on contact us, click on edit with Elementor. Okay. Now we just need to go ahead and add our, te our uh, templated again. So go ahead and click on the Envato icon, go to free templates, go to categories, go to food and drink, choose this one. We could scroll down here. Now, if you do have Elementor Pro, it's going to automatically come with the Contact Us. But if you don't, I do have a couple videos on creating a Contact Us page. So you guys can go ahead and check that out on my channel and you guys can set that up. So, but for right now, since I don't have a Contact Us page, I'm going to go ahead and just choose. Let's see here. Let me view this one here. Um... I'm going to actually choose this one and I'm going to ignore the, the requirements and I'm going to add it in here. And honestly, I just highly suggest looking at that video and then adding, um, adding it in here. So here, basically what I would do is remove this, go to your home page, scroll up, grab this section here, copy it, go back to where we were at and then just paste it. Paste it in. I probably, we probably just got to need to drag it up here. And then I'm going to grab uh, my title here. Grab this. And let me go ahead and paste this here. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to remove the stay in the loop. To be honest, I don't really have that set up yet. So I'm not going to have that on there. And then I'm going to leave this as is. You can change this picture. Maybe you want to change this. Click on this, this um, column here. And then go to style and then change this image. You can change it up maybe to anything that you would like. Um, but I'm going to leave it how it was. I think that looks great. Now over here, you would just go ahead and add your contact, um, contact us form. I do have a video on that, so I highly suggest checking that out. Um, so just check out that video and I'll literally show you how to just drag and drop your uh, contact us form and how to stylize it and all that. 
Okay, and this is all mobile optimized for you. So you don't need to worry about that as well. Um, you can you can click on any of this text to edit it. If that's something that you wanted to do. You can remove this background if you guys wanted to remove this one. So just go ahead and right click it, edit section, go to style, and then you guys can go to background overlay and you guys can move, remove that image here if that was something that you wanted to do. But I like that image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that in there. And I'm gonna view my website. And now that's all set up there perfectly. So now every page is set up. So we have my blog, we have my about, and my contact that's set up. Perfect. Now on my home page, I am noticing that we have this area here, the subscribe. We don't need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on our header. And that's the part right above here. So go ahead and click on customize. And then click on header. And now the great part about the Caden theme is that they do have a, a, a header builder and we're able to adjust this. So let's say we wanted to add a search here. So grab this search and then drag it maybe right over here. I know that I just scrolled down. But as you can tell, now we have this search here. And I think that looks great. So I'm going to leave that on there. And our menu here. You can also select the primary menu as well. So you can click on this and also select your menu. But we already have that set up. So we don't need to do that. I'm going to go back here. And we can add a button here as well. Sorry, it keeps scrolling down there for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this little gear icon here. And I'm going to change the button name. And maybe I'm going to call this, um, this can be, uh, you can have this as contact us as well, or even, um, or even call us and then add a number. That's entirely up to you. Um, maybe we can have this as a request. Uh, yeah, request, we can have it says like request a blog, request a blog, something like that, um, something that you're able to do. Let's go back here. You can also set up a transparent header if that's something that you want to do. You can enable this as transparent. Now that kind of works if my background was was also transparent and it's not. Um, now you can disable on specific pages. So um, that's entirely up to you. You can disable this on posts. Um, you can have a different logo for your transparency. I can have a different one if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and disable this transparent. And then the design as well. Um, for my site title, I can also change it as well. My navigation. So if I wanted to maybe make my navigation, let's see here. There we go. Let me see here. Actually, let's click on this little, click on the menu here. Click on um, our navigation and then go to design. And this is basically what you were choose uh, your navigation colors. So as you can tell right now, it's set to uh, our uh, global colors. You can adjust that as well. I can maybe change it to this color if that's something that I wanted to do. Um, but I'm going to leave it as default there. I can have it at full, uh, full height underlined. Uh, this is kind of cool. You can have that up as well that's something that you wanted to do so my drop down options now this is a little drop down here let's say we wanted to have um we wanted to customize this and make this background color for our drop down a different color so go ahead and click on design and then go ahead and choose this color here and let's see if that nope it's not that one let's choose might actually be the one above there we go no it's this one here so that's all set there and then we can have a divider and we can change the divider to white. 
There we go. Okay. Let's see if we change that to white there. Okay, so yeah, so let's definitely just set that up to um to default here. Let's definitely remove that here and set that up to black instead. So yeah, from the looks of it, we might have accidentally made our uh, home white here. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that our uh, drop down is at least a different color here. So let's go ahead and choose this one here. There we go. I think that's fine. And then let's go back to our main menu, click on the little gear icon, and then go back to design. And I'm wondering why it's doing that here. Sorry, sometimes we have some little issues here. It's gonna publish this. Okay, there we go. I thought it wasn't working. All right, perfect. There we go, and this is set up to white. It just wasn't showing. That's what I was wondering. Now, as you can tell, it's all set up, but there's a selection color that I don't like on here. It's this color here. So let me go to customize again and let's go into header. And let's edit this portion here. Go to drop down options, go to design. And let's set this color here to white. So that will set it up to white, but then I want to set it up to the tax here. Maybe if I move this to black, they'll switch it up here. If that one works here. There we go. So that did work. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that's all set up there. And don't worry, it's all mobile optimized. Let's actually, let's actually go to see how it is on mobile and maybe adjust it on mobile. So go ahead and click on this. You can tell it's, it's black, but maybe we don't want it black, right? And it's pretty cool because automatically, once we go ahead and click on tablet and mobile, it switches our menu. So it's kind of cool here. Um, so go ahead and click on your trigger here. And then um, you can go ahead and adjust the design of this one. Now that's just a box here. We can make the icon size a little bit bigger. We can add a border to this if we wanted to. But I, uh, but I honestly don't like the border. I think it's fine, plain and simple. Um, the trigger as well, as you can tell, this one is a main color and then this one is a hover effect. Um, and I think that's perfect as well. Now the main, the other thing that I wanted to choose is I want to work on this area here. So maybe we can click on this and then go to design here and then maybe adjust this background. Let's see. Nope. Um, you're going to click on reset. It's actually over here. So click on the trigger, go to, um, click on this one, drawer container options and then go to design and then our pop-up background. See, so we can choose our pop-up background here and we want to go ahead and choose this one here. And our close is already set to um, white, which is set up already for us, which is perfect. There we go. Now let's go ahead and um, publish this. 
And let's go ahead and inspect this and see how it looks like on mobile ourselves. Let me make this a little bit wider. Okay. But we do have an issue here. And the issue that I'm not liking is whenever I click on this, it turns to white and I can't really see the color of it. So it might have to do with our, um, our text that we adjusted here. Let's go ahead and work on this. Let's go to um, transparency. Should be in our menu here. But for some reason, there isn't really um, an option for that. And from the looks of it, if I pop it up, it might be within our menu. So let's click on this. And let's go to design. And maybe let's choose white here. I know this one. Oh, it's this one actually, guys. So let me remove this one. That's what I had wrong here. Make that white. Now I don't know if that's gonna affect um the desktop version. I hope not. I don't think it does. But let's go ahead and publish this. And see if it does that. Okay, so it does it. Perfect. So we're all set up there. Okay, awesome. That's looking great. I know that this was quite a bit of a long video. I usually don't really do videos like this, but I really wanted to show you guys how to create a blog. I know that a lot of you guys have been requesting it, and I just thought I should, I should finally create this uh, video for you guys. So, the last thing that we're going to work on is our footer. Now, the Cadence theme does come with their own uh, footer builder, but I don't really like their footer builder, to be honest. I don't think it's that great. It's not as good as their header builder. Their header builder is phenomenal. I really like their builder. Um, but you are able to create your own custom header header uh, using Elementor as well. I have tons of videos on that on my channel. So if you guys want to learn how to create a more custom header, um, go ahead and just check out my channel and you'll be able to find that video. So let's go ahead and create our footer. So go to your dashboard. And then if you did, make sure that, you're, that you have um, your Elementor header footer blocks downloaded and installed. And then from here, we're going to go into, let's see, into appearance and then go to header footer and blocks. Click on add new. And we're going to want to name this our footer. And we're going to choose our template type is going to be footer. And we're going to display this on entire website and uh, just have those options there that's fine and then click publish now we can click on edit with elementor and create our footer now i'm not sure if we can find a footer oh we can okay so go ahead and click on footer here so the good part about um about envato that they do come with pre-built blocks that you can use and we're going to be using their pre-built block for our footer so if I kind of went too fast here, let me go back there, guys. Um, go ahead and click on this icon here, the Envato icon. Go to free blocks and then go into footer. And then don't worry, we'll adjust the colors on this one here. Uh, just kind of choose any one that catches your eye, maybe one that's really simple. I'm going to choose this one. This one caught my eye here. And then I'm just going to change the colors around. I'm going to go to the home page and kind of view my colors here. Okay, so I haven't been using a dark color. So but what I have been using is a lighter gray color. Because whenever I go to my blog, you can see this lighter gray color. I'm going to go ahead and grab this color here just by using my color picker. And you guys can just type this color in. Just uh, stop the video and then just type this color in. And then I'm going to go back to my footer here. I'm going to click on this section here. And then I'm going to go to style. And then my color background. I'm going to just add that color in here. And not to worry. I'm going to adjust the colors for my text here. So click on, click on your text. Go to style. And then go in and choose just black. It's fine. And then we're going to go ahead and choose uh, default. Because it should be set to the one that we did set up in the beginning. But if we didn't. Let me go to my home page and I kind of forgot what 
font we were using. So let me make sure here. So we were using ASAP. So let me go back to my footer here and just choose ASAP instead. Nope. Okay. So it was the same one. It's just that um, we don't want to capitalize. So just do, uh, sorry, we don't want it uppercase. I mean, we want it capitalized. There we go. So copy this style over here, copy style, copy style, and I'm going to copy the style to each, each um, title. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this, this uh, paragraph box here or your, your text editor, go to style and then choose black as well. And then I'm going to go into this one and this one has my pages. Now this is just a list. What you can do, I'm not really going to do to be honest guys, because I feel like you guys can do that. Um, what I would do instead is actually put, um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and just type in blog categories. I think that's probably better. So I'm going to do blog categories. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove actually, you know what, let me see, I could leave that I could leave this list and then just have the list of categories here, I can at least do that. I'm going to go to my notes here and I'm going to grab my categories here. Paste them in here. And I'm going to paste this one down here too. Okay. So now we're all done there. Now I'm going to go ahead and just adjust the color. Go to, go to your style and then go to text. And then make sure you have your text color set that to black. And we do have a little hover effect. We can uh, go ahead and uh, we can remove the hover effect just for now. Let's go ahead and just make that black as well. Now an icon, let's see, did we have an icon? We did, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our color that we've been using all around. So I'm gonna, actually we should have it saved as our global color. So click on that, set Gerber global color. And let's actually add that hover effect because I remembered we can just use a global color there. Okay, that's perfect. And now maybe you have some help links you could um, maybe we can do, uh, contact us. Let's go ahead and copy this. Just copy this one. Or sorry. Uh, copy this as, uh, um, element here and then just paste a style to this one. Same thing. And then we can just do, um, contact us. And we can link this to our contact us page. So type in contact. And then let's see if we can also link our um, categories here. I don't think we can because I tried doing it last time and it didn't come up. No, we can't. So we're just going to have to grab them here manually and then paste them all in there. Just make sure you paste that link in there. Self care. Skincare, and then the last one here. It's gonna be our smoothies. There we go. And our contact us is set up, and then our social links. So go ahead and click on your social links um, element here. Go into style. Go into um, secondary color, and make sure you you use your global color that we created here. And then over here on our titles, we want to go ahead and change this little um, line here on the side to our um, website color. So, um, see here. I don't know if it was a line here. Let's see here. Is that a line? our border there we go 
So click on your title and then go to your advanced and then go to borders here and then make sure you choose our um, our global color that we've been using and then copy this and then paste the style to each one. And let's make sure that this looks good globally. So all right, that looks good on tablet and it looks great on mobile. Now what uh, you know what that's fine right there. Now what you can do actually instead you can remove this help one and just have your logo here watch so remove this box drag it all the way to the left and then grab an image and then just add your logo here mine's not going to look that great because you know you can kind of see that my logo isn't transparent but um you're able to do that that's something i would recommend it actually looks pretty good on your website and once it's transparent um that's entirely up to you. I'm going to go back to how it was because my logo is not transparent and that doesn't look the greatest. Okay. I'm going to go to view this. I think that's fine. Um, I'm going to go back to my home page here. And then I'm going to view this at the bottom here. Okay, so I think that's looking great as well. And that's all set up there. Now, if we were to go to any of these pages, our footer is set up automatically. You can tell it's all set up perfectly. All right, now that's looking great. Now that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. I will probably start making more videos like this in the future. If you guys do have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to me. I know that a lot of you guys probably will have some questions and that's totally fine. I kind of can't really go through everything um, there's just really so much to go through if uh, if you guys aren't really that familiar with um, WordPress. But if you guys are just starting out, hopefully this is a good starting point. Um, but if you guys need any help, just go ahead and comment down below and I'll definitely try to try to help you guys out. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe. It'll definitely help out the channel out a lot. And um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.